Fit like a bee, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. We are down here, our mountain, or our island freight lines, which are running away now. Uh, they're running pretty smooth, so we're happy with them. There will be another freight line that takes fuel from here down to the port. Ah, uh, the port, the train station, the freight train station. At Minsk. Now, we've got, we're sort of getting the last things sort of delivered. I mean, you've still got some steel and it is getting steel. Uh, the thing I'm worried about mostly is the food. Food production has not really risen. It's starting to come up now though, which is nice. There's only 34 there. Train 36 is in. Oh, that's weird. What, what are you? Who are you? Let's set your maintenance to high. Right, feel better there, train 36. And we're only getting like a handful of grain trucks actually coming in. Now this one's bringing in 24. There is 303 waiting. But I think our glorious ship, the Rostock, made a delivery. Yep, it did. That's why there's so much sitting there. But we still need the rest to sort of come in. Uh, especially for these flights. These flights are getting some and they are making a tiny bit of money but they need more now I was gonna change these flights for the new 737s I think I'll leave it for the moment what we want to do today is get this tool factory up and running now this all hinges on I was gonna put a smaller cargo airport in but if this fits I'll use it it does fit how much more? Now, gonna need a second runway. Let's just place that in there for the moment. Maybe over this way slightly. About there. Alright, let's configure this. Uh, miscellaneous, let's get second runway in. Right, we need to add a tiny touch of land right here. Now, where are we going to add this tiny touch of land? Alright, right there. Rotation, br brush strength is high. Let's just pop it out this way. Ooh, the game did not like that. That should be enough. That should be all we need. Miscellaneous, boom, it is. Right, now we've got landing and takeoff runways. There was another plane rolling. What, what are you? Ah, you're a tuple of coming in with passengers. Good for you. Right, that actually worked, which we are happy about. Now, let's get a road built out to it. Now, where do we want to go? We want to go along here, like so. We'll have it pop into there. And then we'll have it go along here. Yep, that will work nicely. Alright, that is now connected definitely to there. Now, we're going to get wood set up. Now, I should. I was going to take wood and send it down here. Uh, yep, we could delete one of these. Oh yes, we've got a plan. Right. Now, wood. We're going to take wood from here. We're also going to take wood from down here. And we're going to take wood from here and wood from here. We're going to use pretty much all of these. Because we're also going to get this factory run up. And potentially this factory. We've got steel. This is all just getting everything finished for the last, uh, getting the last towns in, the goods that they actually need. Now, someone did mention in the comments that we should do highways, which is a stellar idea, so that vehicles move faster. However, highways are quite large, and I don't really have the room 
that I necessarily need to get them in. Now that's trying to snap to there. I wish you would stop. We've also got some a lot of new liveried aircraft that we need to sort of use as well. So we would I would normally put highways in. Obviously, for obvious reasons that they're faster. Uh, they cause less congestion because vehicles can move through them quite quickly or choose multiple lanes to get past a slower vehicle. Alas. Uh, yep. There's not much room. I mean, if I was to create a highway here, the havoc it would cause just getting to Budapest would be phenomenal. Now, the next map, whatever map it may be, is going to be a megalomaniac size map. So it's going to be pretty huge, and basically, hugeness is what we need. So, this is fine. And this tunnel's under there. Would like you... Now, this is something I've not done in a while, but it does work. Now, go under there. Yeah, give me that for that side. There we go. <laughs> Those two can now be connected up. Right. So we've got four. We've got four trucks that need to come inbound. So what we're going to do, where we're going to actually place that. Maybe here. We'll do two buildings. Give me that. Just normal size. Two that come in here. Yes, very nice. Uh, we'll make large ones for these because wood does pile up quite significantly. Now it's obviously going to take time for these sort of... Now we just need a, a one, one platform for that. Uh, go there. Let's configure you. Alright, make you large. Sweet. Next one, I'd love to be able to just select that station and place it over here, like duplicate it. That would be a nice feature. But hey ho, we'll do old school. Configure... Uh, no, cargo please. Alright, that is nice. So, a bit of an eyesore, these stations, but we'll get them in. So, this will be one. Apparently, that's Omsk. Omsk is fine. To lower Budapest. Omsk would transfer one. Other line from there to there. And we'll get Omsk Wood Transfer 2. Right, now. We're going to need a train station in here as well. So I need to be mindful. Because we're going to have to take planks down here. And other planks we can get made here from this wood. So we're going to have to split the planks in a 2. So a train down to there, and we can also get a train into there if we need to. But what we're going to do is send planks from there to there and feed Melbourne. Uh, we're also going to get an airport here and start flying combats into Kyoto some way somehow. As that looks like looks like that plane's in a nose dive. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> right, continue on. We also need to utilize this oil here. Now, there is spare oil over here, which we will train over. And then we're going to fly the oil over here. And then we're going to take fuel back. That's going to be the plan for that. We also have two new ships rolling that are going to deliver fuel there. 
Looks like it's cr it's not created any fuel yet. Oh, game's starting to run away. But we'll get this done first. Now, I'm going to put that train station in now. I mean, we don't need it till later, but I want to get it in. Parallel with this road would be absolutely smashing. Right, it looks okay there. That's fine. Right. Oops. Right. Now, we need another delivery point over here. Roads. Now, we could use one of these. Just a truck unload stop. But I want them to actually come in and turn around. I mean, they just unload and then head back out. I may do waypoints for this one. Unless I just add it and then the trucks take to the route I want them to take to. Which probably won't happen. Streets. Pop you round like so. Perfect. Now again, these are just unload stops. Do I want to do it? For this. Now we've got those lines configured already. And pop you round like so. Did any of the lines take to that? No. And I'm assuming the other one is no. Right. We'll change that up then. Uh, get some. Oh, save is doing its thing. That's fine. One there. Uh, we have to wait for autosave to finish doing its thing. There we go. Right. Who first? You first. Manage line. Right. After Omsk. Head in that direction and go round. Line two. Manage vehicle. No, 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 no. There's no vehicles to manage. Manage line after lower Budapest, head out here. Yep, that's good. That is perfect. We'll do the same over here. So one and two. And then we'll get lines set up over here. Now, if we build this here, is it going to be in range? Oh, yes, definitely in range. Uh, make you just that side. Alright, if I can figure this, I should be able to squeeze it past the outskirts of that wood area. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, on to next one. Alright, this one's going to be over here, apparently. Where do I want this one to go? If it fits here and it's still in range, we'll take it. It looks like it. Let's have it go about there. Let's configure it. Cargo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's fine. Nine. Right. Good to go. That works nicely now. Ooh, Constellation and terrible takeoff there. That's going to be replaced sharpish now that we've got some new vehicles. But we want a new line to go there. You're still Omsk, so we'll treat this as... Right, we'll have you going in though. Right, you heading in, that's fine. Omsk Wood Transfer and three. Right, you're ready to rock and roll. Go there and then head out. Yep, yep, yep. That's perfect. Right, so this will be Omsk would transfer number four. Right, so all those routes 
are good to go. Now I'm thinking just build a depot here, right in the center. We could get a petrol station. I think we'll just run the depot for the minute. Right, what do we all have? Right, these, one, two, three, four, five. Select all, apply, and you are going on Omsk. Wood transfer one. One, two, three, four, five. Omsk wood transfer number two. Which is down here. One, two, three, four, five. Now these have got a larger capacity, that's why I'm not throwing so much of them on the line. Transfer three. One, two, three, four, five. High maintenance and Omsk wood transfer four. Right. That is good to go. I now need a pickup stop, which is going to go over here. And then it's going to head down this way. So we're going to upgrade this road streets. Upgrade that. Yes, please. Thank you. Do that as well. And into there, because we're going to need this later on. It's just don't know where this road actually goes. It goes to St. Petersburg. Not the straightest of roads, but it gets there. Why is this? Is that like street or something? It has gone with street for that, which is weird. Let's just see if we can connect you. It's going to create something weird. Right, let's connect you onto there. It's not that weird. Right, we need to configure this as well. Now, there's only one flight coming in. I want to bulldoze that. And I want this. Oh, hello. You can't go there anymore. <laughs> Why not? Configure, but there was just there was just a, a thing there. Oh, this is weird. It's like totally glitched out. Try deleting another one. All right, configure. Give me that. Ah, now it goes there. I do one there. But you won't now do this one. Why not? Ah, because houses are being built. Go away, go away, and go away. Configure. Get you in there. There we go. Right, house is causing a slight bit of issue there, but we're okay now. Right, so we've kind of got that freight line up and running. Just need uh, buildings. Another large truck stop with one. Make it 30 meters. Have this one head out to about here. Now we'll make this one large uh, because there's quite a large inflow of wood. So we should get a large influx of planks. Alright, that is fine. Now you are going to go, now train is going to head out there with planks to there. Fine, no problem. But road vehicle is going to head out here. Ah yes, I see the perfect opportunity. Might even be able to get a road behind here and go to there. I think we'll try that. Uh, now road, yep. Give me that, make it 30, give me one at each side. Now that's fine in there. Now this is going to be delivering stuff, right? It may be delivering fuel at some point, so... 
We'll make them slightly larger. Now, I think our biggest plane only delivers something like 55 or 57 fuel, so that doesn't need to be too big. Street access, go there. Now, passengers, cargo. Let's come out of the configuration screen and let's get streets. I want this. No, I want this. Okay, just build that. Come around there. There's a Pan Armor one in. 737. Get me straight line. Onto there. Now, will the trucks take to this line? God, I hope so. I really do. Uh, new line. One. And two. They did. They actually went round. So they're not going through the city. That's perfect. They are doing a weird turn here. We'll fix that later if we need to. Right. So this will be. We're going to call this Bud. Planks. Transfer. Right. Now again, we'll just get five for this. Uh, this one, two, three, four, five. Select maintenance is high and set you on bud planks transfer. Right, they are rolling out. This one has 19 of 30 wood already. Where did you come from? Omsk wood transfer one. You're stuck. Now you're not stuck. That's fine. I was getting confused there. Right, now we can deliver planks over here, but there's obviously no flight yet. So we are going to have to get a flight. Right, Budapest. So we want to come from here. Now I was thinking about using a mixture of old 737s and the new ones. They both carry the same. Now that's cargo. Fine. Let's actually get this route set up. Now, buildings. Do this first. Plumb you into there. Uh, let's just make it configure it and give it something like an extra two. Or three. Three is fine. Street access, you go there. Uh, streets, file you down into there. Bit of a weird hill going on there. No, it's fine. Right, now, where do we need tools at in Minsk? That's the big question. Now, if we select this, I love the fact that it does this. It's so much better. Right, it's gonna have to take a weird route. Right, it's gonna have to go here first. Which covers most things, we'll say. Yeah, it covers quite a lot. And that's good. And then it's gonna have to come down here. Have it go there. And hopefully it will go round. New line, one, two, three. Ah, it did go around, sweet. And then come back. Perfect, perfect. Right. That's not line one, that is Minsk. Tools. Delivery. Right, sweet. <coughs> now, what planes do I want on here? Let's first create the route. So we want to go from a freight station there, or a freight terminal, to a freight terminal there. And this will be uh, Budapest 
to Minsk. Wow. The Airbus A380s are on the go. Lots of them. What else? Because we've got... Go down, go down. The Bombardier. Good. Another Russian number. We've got tons of planes. Lots. Ridiculous amount of planes. Right. I was in the middle of... Budminsk, yeah. Budminsk. Tools, air cargo. Right, let's look at our vehicles. So let's go to all. We've got a few 757s, A320s, 737s, Tupolevs, more 737s. Jesus. Airbus A380, French Pacific. Airbus A380, generic, recolorable. The Lufthansa version, other Lufthansa version. Milan Air, all in air. Qantas, we can use. Singapore Airlines, we can use. The Bombardier and the Sukhoi Superjet. 737, 757's Freight, Tupolev Freight, 737 Freight, and Bombardier Dash 8 <coughs> uh, Freight. What do you call it? 22. That's pretty good. It's not as good as a Hercules, but we're going to have more of these running. I need to look at the planes. I've got so much. And there is absolutely more planes or flight routes that we can use. If this was a larger map, it would obviously be better. But right now, I want to go a mixture of... Now, the Sukhoi Superjet, you don't come in a cargo variant, right? No, you just take passengers. Passengers are cool, but not what we need. Right, you're 483, you're old school... You run till 2020, so I think we'll get one of those. You're slightly faster, but we're going to get one of those. And we're going to get another one of those. Select all. Apply. Select, set you on Bud Minsk Tools AP. Right, they're heading out. Uh, where am I going? Omsk? No. No, no, no. Budapest. Alright, you're about to get some more traffic here, Budapest. Right, so the other one, we went to this, so we'll let's go one of those. You're a cargo variant, right? Yes. Another one of those. Six. Now, hopefully, these will space out nicely. Now, Bud Minsk Tools AC, right. Away they go. Now, that should, that line, that line should be complete. And loving the new 737. Very nice. Old school version just has the, doesn't have these swept wings. Just has the standard ones. Bigger engines here on this 737. Not the 737 Mark 8. So, I actually watched the documentary about the 737 Mark 8 and how Boeing were trying to copy uh, the Airbus. Is it the A320? And because the A320 was higher up, it had more room for a big, bigger engine under the wing. Boeing didn't have the height clearance, so they just put the engine further up in the wing. It's pretty interesting. I mean, Boeing, still a respectable company. Hopefully they fix that issue with their 737s. Seems a waste when you see all those planes just sitting in the, at the test airfield in Seattle. Right, so that route is up and going. Now that should be... Inevitably, inevitably, tools ticked off for this place here. Minsk, right. Forgot what it was called there. 
We need to transport some tools though, I have not forgotten that. All cargo, you take 16, 17, let's get one, one two, three, four of these. Set their maintenance for high. As before, we're keeping a variance going. Uh, the Minsk tools delivery, there we go, right, off they pop. There they are heading out there. There we go. We like a different variety of trucks. Now, aircraft. We've got a crap ton of aircraft. We're going to review the lines. Maybe add some new passenger routes. Let's push pause. Now, start off with ones that are not making that much money. Now, why are you not making that much money? Why are you losing money here, my friends? Now, Riga Coal AC. G give me, actually, the line, manage line. I want to go here. I want to go to Hong Kong, right? I want to go to Hong Kong and see what the issue is. We're actually right there. It's just down here. Yeah, it's one of these. One of these idiots. Right, now. Coal. There is coal. There's 183 coal waiting. Which leads me to believe that we actually need more on here. Now these are probably all in flight and empty or in flight and full. Once they deliver, they'll be fine. Now there's four of these 757s. I think we'll leave them as is. Now this Kiev to Osaka Oceanic flight apparently carries 108 people. It's pretty cool. I think we'll leave it. I mean it's the, the, the 757 from Lost with the Oceanic livery. I mean there's lots of mods for aircraft to run their actual seating capacity I don't think they need it. I think what Transport Fever or the devs at Transport Fever have done and made the planes maybe not reduced cargo wise but definitely passenger wise is definitely a, a good idea because having planes with this 108 I mean the running cost of this is probably higher as well than a standard 757 so it's a bit strange so we're gonna leave that oceanic number here's our new 737s our Shanghai Seoul we'll leave that Warsaw tools again these will be either full waiting to land I want to keep them as is uh, right go to Manage vehicles, select them all 20, 0, 20. Just about to pick up, and yep, yeah, so none of them are actually near landing. Now, it's there's a slight issue that I've found with planes that they need to be properly spaced out, you need to have one delivering all the time. I mean, all the none of those planes were landing or making a delivery. Some of them had just picked up. They all sort of roll in at the same time. You need to space them out. And I might do that offline. I mean, if we go to this line, manage vehicles. Give me that one. Right, that one is heading off with 51. That one is on its way back with zero. This one's on its way back with zero. And this one is on its way with 51. So none of them are actually near landing or at a point where they need to deliver anything, really. They're sort of stuck in limbo. So that's why that doesn't make money. Now I could add more. I mean, they probably, it's a long way to Riga from Hong Kong. So they probably would make money. We just need them to deliver all the time. That's, that's the issue. Now these two, I want to actually see where they are. 
mean, this one is currently at Seoul North. Fine. It's picked up 16. Good for you. Now, second plane. At first plane. Okay, this one. Is it Seoul North as well? Apparently. No, it's not. Uh, you're heading for Seoul North. You're also heading for Seoul North. Right, this one's at Shanghai. Yes, you're at Shanghai. Give me this one. Where are you, buddy? Ah, you're actually right. No, that's fine. They're spaced out. Fine. One's at one airport, the other one is at the other airport. And we'll leave those 757s on. They're pretty decent. Riga Steel losing money, but there is a lot of steel waiting, or there should be. Now, one of them hopefully be at Hong Kong. This one is. Now, do you have two of 54? Ah, Riga Steel is actually keeping up. Are you taking off or landing? You are landing. How much have you got on board? Two. Let's sell that one. Don't actually need it. Now these have higher capacity. 32 of 54. Now I think again what is happening is all these planes are landing and picking up steel at the same time. They're not getting spaced out. We'll keep the Tupelo, Tupelevs on there. Sydney steel running one two three four five of these one is coming in now Shanghai Airlines cargo so it will take 55 away from there which is okay uh, Minsk Kiev air passenger probably could just have two of these running now manage vehicles Th 12 6 right you with six you're going right they're running standard livery it's things that are old now this Warsaw to Warsaw to Osaka gets like nothing <laughs> Shanghai to St. Petersburg 9 of 50 people in St. Petersburg just don't want to use the airport Warsaw to Osaka 1 of 7 We'll leave those little guys running as is. Now, Baghdad to Ho Chi Minh City. You're running 15. Let's upgrade these. Manage vehicles. Replace them with the Bombardier, but the passenger variant. Q400, capacity of 22. Replace. Let's have a look at that. Very nice. Dash eight. I was on one of these uh, not long ago. So that's much better. We're so, I need to get rid of some of the older aircraft. Moscow Sydney Air Passenger running these. These are totally fine. Uh, Shanghai Beijing. Right, you've clearly just taken off from somewhere with seven. Uh, you've taken off from Beijing. 87 people waiting. Ah, oh, crap. Did not realize that. Right, but I think you're going to a small airport. You go to a large airport. And then you head over to a small airport. Now, Shanghai, Beijing. Only 12 people waiting there. So we've got 87 at one side and nothing at the other. That's okay. Shanghai, Beijing. Let's manage the vehicles. And let's get some of these the Sherpas. There we go. Replace. That'll give it slightly more capacity at one side. That's the problem is one side wants a lot of people. The other side does not. So they're upgraded. The Moscow-Sydney line we were happy with. Baku Seoul 20 of 20. We might throw another aircraft on here. Alright, uh, Baku. South. 
58. Yeah, we're going to need... Are you landing or taking off? You're landing. Right. At Seoul, we'll get another aircraft. In fact, at Seoul, I know exactly which aircraft to use. Right, hello Seoul. Baku Seoul. Only six people waiting at this side, you see? That's that's the issue. Uh, buy vehicles, right. Where is it? Air Busan. Nippon. Korean. Korean Air 737. Buy. Set your maintenance for high. Apply. Set you on Baku. Uh, what? Baku Seoul Air Passenger. Right, you can head out and do your thing. Now, when I'm dying to push play here and let some of these roll on. Omsk, Baghdad. Give me one of them. Where are you? Now this could be... Actually, it's heading into Baghdad now. She's an old, an old beast. Uh, 14 people waiting. Okay, let's head over to Omsk. Which is to the left here. 24. So two aircraft with a capacity of 20. Now, Omsk and Baghdad. I think I've got a plan for this. Omsk, Baghdad, air passenger, manage vehicles. Let's replace you with... Whoops. Sukhoi Superjets. <laughs> capacity of 20. Yep, sounds good. Sounds perfect to me. And they will replace imminently, possibly, now. There we go. Right, perfect. Let's have a look at one of those. Let's get its gear down. Ah, it looks cool. Looks very smart, indeed. Lots of planes. Very congested airspace, this. Right, so we upgraded them to Sukhoi Super Jets. There they are. Right, you 12 and 12, Omsk to Seoul. Right, you're clearly taking off from somewhere. You're in ascent from Seoul, it looks like. Uh, 109. Okay, okay, okay. Manage vehicles. Select them. I've got Sherpas running. Let's go small passenger. Right. In fact, let's go small. You take 14. You take 20. You take 22. Winner thus far. Bye. And also, get one, two, two more. Apply and set them on. Seoul, Omsk, air passenger. Right. That's them. Now we've got four on there. Kawasaki, St. Petersburg. Fair distance to travel. Don't know where this aircraft is presently. It's running that really fast plane that looks like a bullet. That's Riga. You're going to Kawasaki. Kawasaki just has a small airport. There it is. Seven. Nah, you're fine. You can stay as is. Unless there's a lot of people waiting at St. Petersburg, but I doubt it. There's no one waiting at St. Petersburg. We could maybe even delete one of the aircraft from on here. 12 or 14. Zero. Away you go. And seven. Right, we're back down to three. Three on there. 
Bark Dad, Shanghai. That's going from the small airport, uh, one doth believe. Zero of 20, but there's 29 waiting. We'll leave them on there. That's fine. Ho Chi Minh, Budapest. <coughs> okay. Where are you, my friend? Now, I do apologize for this. Some people might find this boring, but I like looking at the liveries. That's Kiev. That's Warsaw. Wow, you came from all the way over here. And you're heading to Budapest. Whoops. It's quite a long distance. Right, you should have flew into there. Ho Chi Minh, Budapest. Now, we've got couple of Pan Ams on there. So what I'm gonna do, the Pan Ams are fine. But I'm gonna replace this one. Manage vehicle, replace with, I'm gonna get another Korea Airlines on here. Replace. 737 Right, they're both the same. Perfect. Right. Back to the lines. Now, Sydney, Shanghai is fine. Melbourne, Hong Kong. We're on this one. Tokyo, Shanghai. Now, this again is going to a small airport. It should be fine. And we've got these cargoes that are running nicely. Osaka, Kyoto. Uh, you're running fine as well. Minsk, Beijing are running the Tupolevs. They're running fine. Now uh, I do believe Tokyo, Shanghai Air Passenger. Now that's just over here so we'll have a quick look at that. Shanghai. There we go. Tokyo Shanghai is running three passengers. That one picked up 13. So I think we can leave it as is. Now we've got Sydney Shanghai. And we're running China Eastern on there. Now I like the China Eastern, but I'm thinking of replacing it. Now Sydney is a ways away. Do a lot of people want to go to Sydney? 27. Now, if I'm going to do this, I need to delete at least one. I mean, what we could do... Alright, let's go to the hangar. Buy vehicles large. Right, the Airbus A380. The French Pacific livery capacity 105. See, that's not too bad. Don't know what the difference is between the blue ones and the actual liveried ones. There's Qantas, Spirit of Australia, 556 miles per hour. We could delete one and just send the Qantas on its way. There is another Qantas airline. Uh, where are you? It's a uh, Virgin, there we go. Virgin Australia. Shandong. I need to find out where some of these places actually are. China Eastern Union. Boeing. Which is the China Eastern? That's a China Eastern one we're running there. Now if we go here, variants, there is an Australian or a New Zealand Airbus. Avianca. Avianca is Italian, right? Is it Shenzhen Airlines top Portugal? No, there's no Australian, Austrian, and Air New Zealand, Air Canada. Swiss Airlines. Now what we could do is go to either Melbourne or Sydney 
and create a route for our glorious uh, Sydney's further away I like Sydney as an option although Sydney might be busy this may crash the game as well need to be careful here <laughs> Alright, we're running a lot of freight in here. There's one spare passenger. Sydney East. Okay. Moscow to Sydney Air passenger. Is it 97? Well, that's weird because... I mean, we could upgrade them. Alright, we've got a few of these. Let's manage vehicles. Upgrade these to now wait 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 before we get carried away you take 20 Large aircraft cargo small passenger large Right now what I'm thinking about doing Is upgrading one to Virgin and the other one I'm thinking about upgrading to like the New Zealand Air one because I want to see what it actually looks like <laughs> okay deselect you in fact go over there my mind has been made up Virgin replace you're out of the screen, you're still in the screen. There we go, Virgin Australia. This actually car is 33, so that's better. Right, we can push play now. Now that all the flights have been done, that's pretty cool. Right, all the flights have been done, yes. Yeah, we're happy. The only thing we need to do, do now is add new flights. <coughs> no wood yet, but the game has been paused. That was that was my bad. I mean, Shanghai to St. Petersburg is running a standard 757. We could change that. But we're going to get a new route. Right, Sydney... passenger so you've selected a terminal wow there's a lot of crap happens here right Osaka or Seoul I think Seoul do I have a Sydney Seoul route already possibly go aircraft Shanghai, Shanghai, Seoul, Shanghai, Beijing. No, 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 we don't. Because they both start with S. And there's nothing there. Right, go to line one then. Sid. Seoul. AP. Okay, which which depot do we want to send this from? Right, please don't cross the game. I am going to click on the one that has the picture. Bye. Set your maintenance for high. Apply and set you on Sydney Soul Air Passenger. Right, the game sort of junked a wee bit there. Uh, well, well, the wings don't fit in the hangar, but the fuselage just made it through. Yep, tail section destroying top of the hangar there. How does this actually look? Does it sort of bloot or through it? Uh, it sort of wipes out everything here, but I think most of the aircraft do. Uh, we've sort of gone full flaps for taxi. That's slightly strange. Where are you going? 
Ah, uh, we're past. You must stop in here, right? Yep. <laughs> We've got our Qantas on the go. We'll get some from Melbourne as well. Maybe not an A380 now that we've got one. Alright, let's jump on board with this this beast. Do you want me to extend your runway? I can if you wish. Wiped out a tree almost. Definitely wiped out a tree. Pull up. Gear up. And away it goes. That's pretty cool. Can you see in the windows? Well, no. But that's okay. Don't really need to see in the windows. It just it looks cool. Man, should have made the episode about this thing. Can you see the pilots? Yeah, there's, there's one. That's okay though. That's cool. The first A380. First A380 I've ever used in Transport Fever. I had the mods for Transport Fever 1. I just never, never used it. Ah, uh, okay. Right, you're turning so that you can land and get into there. That's, that's okay. Right, we'll quickly check our... Our what? My Budapest Wood Factory? Yeah, Planks Factory. Oh, look. We've got planks. Does the half planks wait in? Not yet. Probably going to need some more trucks. Right, that truck is there. How much is waiting? 61. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, game. <coughs> One, two. Set maintenance for high. Apply. And set you on Budapest. Planks transfer. Right, way it goes. So this has worked nicely. You, you've got a lot of wood sitting there. Oh, you've got 89. It's not fantastical, magical. It's not the largest number on the planet. Omsk, you need another route as well. Tiny bit of wood sitting there. Now, the problem is there's not much demand for tools and wood and stuff at the moment. There's one of the old school 737s taking off. It got six. Six is okay. Continue on with your six. You're now waiting. So these slower ones are holding up the faster ones. Could tell them to wait for a full load. That will cause congestion though, that we don't want. Nice. So there's not going to be any tools, I would not imagine, in Minsk yet. We'll have to let it roll for a while. We're into the year 2000. Yeah, you got 12. Huh. You're running a full load. You are running a full load. You're getting 14, 15. Now, I've not told these to wait for a full load, so that one should just go. Although it is filling up pretty quickly, it, it went. That's okay. Now the problem is, all of these are going to be over there at one time, and none of them will be here. How fast are you filling up? Not that fast. The other one was, uh, we're, we're, we're short on wood. Uh, there was 89 wood when I checked that a second ago. It's now vanishing at great speed. Uh, 5 of 30, that's pretty poor. Four, probably less. Two, <coughs> two. Yeah, these these wood factories need to get their stuff going. Now it says production is at four hundred, but I am not believing that. Not for a second. Shipment forty six or four hundred. Yeah, but there's not. I think something's happened in the game. 
because we've got even these food now not this one particularly but the ones here yeah they are starting to ship stuff out apparently but they're not 17 18 let's speed it up game gets very laggy and stuttery when I speed it up now my frame rate stays the same it does get laggy to start with and then it sort of works itself out this jumping about here is a bit strange yeah look at this truck start stop 24 right you go now is that the actual speed now that was three times speed is that they're loading so slow I mean shipment should be a ship transport is a hundred percent but this is not going up and we need food let's look at demand consumers shipping 261 so it needs about four or five hundred Digu farm yeah oh well we're getting more than is actually needed which is good that's really good yeah how much is waiting here now ah, there's zero grain stored ah we need some more trucks though for this uh, manage vehicle one two three four get four of them select all and away they go apply right so this is the one that takes food to the airport so that's now been established that Sydney wants more food that's good 24 weight in there you picked up 25 of 51 <coughs> you're rolling in as well I mean I'd love to get the Hercules back in the go and I think I've got a route for that But we are going to have to take fuel over from here as well. Shanghai, St. Petersburg. 757. 12 of 50. I mean, we could make this a smaller aircraft. That's a hell of an approach. Oh, dear God. I suppose it was just the tip, the top of the trees that touched the wingtips, so we're okay. Right, we need to get more flights out of there. I mean, St. Petersburg airports do. <laughs> does really bad. Moscow, Tokyo. Why is this jumped up all of a sudden? Right, I shall deal with it. What's on here? one of those I can duplicate that train which I think I will right but anywho, anywho we're gonna leave it there for that episode let's see where our looks like it's just landed <coughs> in Sydney it has Probably no passengers for it yet, but we'll wait and see. There might be a few... There we go, you're taking off. You don't have anything to bring back though. Spirit of Australia, that door looks strange. I don't think that door works like that in real life. Oh, we can actually see inside. These look strange. It's got like a really shiny gloss to it. Does the front door? Well, oh well, that's that's insta death. Boom! Oh, everyone here in here is dead. <laughs> four, four people are using it. Good for them. Other plane on approach. China Eastern. 
It's going to Shanghai, right? Yep, that's fine. Okay, so that is kind of cool. We've sort of upgraded the planes. We'll get more going later on in the future. But we're going to leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, then please feel free to do so. And as always, I've been Danny Boy. This has been Transport Fever 2. And I will catch you later.